Hey guys, in this short video I will show you the silent energy consumer of your off-grid solar system. I will cover these topics. I'm Nick. Through my book and YouTube channel, I've helped hundreds of people design their own off-grid solar power system. Let's get started. An all-in-one system is an MPPT charge controller, inverter and a battery charger in one device. But what many people don't realize is that these consume power even when no load is applied. This is called idle power consumption. It's the amount of power the inverter uses just to stay on and ready to provide power when it's needed. Here are some popular all-in-one inverters and their idle power consumption. This is the daily idle power consumption in watt hours. As you can see, some of these inverters can consume the entire capacity of a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, which is 1200 watt hours in one day, even when not actively in use. It's not just all in one systems, standalone inverters also consume power. Here are some popular inverters. And this is their daily consumption. You must factor in the idle consumption in your load analysis, as shown in this example. Add the daily power consumption to your existing loads, so that you won't run out of battery power unexpectedly. You can reduce idle consumption by turning off the inverter when it's not in use. However, this is not always possible, especially if you have a fridge or other essential appliances running constantly. The best option is to add more solar panels to compensate. Choosing inverters or inverter chargers with low idle consumption, like the Victron MultiPlus series, can also help reduce idle power consumption. These have the lowest idle power consumption, but are also more expensive. When you enable eco mode in the settings, the idle power consumption reduces. The inverter will detect a load, turn on the AC output and power that load. However, if the load is too small, the inverter might not turn on. This can be an issue with appliances like fridges or freezers that have electronic thermostats. These appliances have very low loads, just a few watts, so the inverter output may never turn on, causing your fridge to stop working. If you are watching this video, I assume you want to build your own off-grid solar system. I have calculated several systems, which can help you in designing your own system. Check out the description to receive these solar diagrams. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Learn more about off-grid solar power by watching these videos next, and I will see you in the next one.